Hi everybody, John V here from Phone Arena. I have the HTC Jetstream in front of me and it's going to run a couple different uh, benchmarking apps to show you what kind of numbers it's able to put up. Uh, That's what you normally do with many of the exciting uh, devices out there in the market. So let's get started here. First of all, I'm going to quickly run this quadrant to show you the uh, numbers it puts up. Now it stands with some of the elites out there such as the uh, Galaxy S2, the Evo 3D and you know other newer devices like the Motorola Droid Bionic. So let's quickly run this here. Let's zoom in so you can see. So with these graphical tests right now that it's running, so right now it's running at roughly around 23, 25 frames per second. Looks pretty smooth. And this one here running a very quick 60 frames per second, right? So that's pretty, pretty uh, smooth with its operation. And this last graphical test, a little bit around 28 frames per second on the average. And we should be wrapping up the test right here. So let's quickly find out what number it puts up. So this first one, it looks like it puts in a score of 2179. Pretty good, of course. Um, we've seen better, like the Galaxy S2. Um, the LG Optimus 2X, I believe, uh, but still very nice for a dual core 1.5 gigahertz. Might some people might be uh, yearning for a little bit more, but again, that's pretty much typical that we find with uh, a lot of these, uh, you know, some of the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipsets uh, from HTC's camp that they use their devices. So let's run this a second time here, just see if we get a consistent score. And all the graphical tests seem to be running at the same rate. It's worth noting, as far as just the user operation from what we've been checking out with the uh, HTC Jetstream so far, it's pretty good. Um, smooth for the most part. And of course, in portrait, there's a little bit of lag or it's a little bit of choppiness when you're navigating with the home screen. But as far as opening up applications, running basic tasks, it's pretty instantaneous. It's not, not, it's not laborious in, there, in any way here. It's wrapping up this test, and let's see what we get this time. And it looks like the score jumps to 2085, so around the 2000, you know, uh, low 2000 range here from what we've been checking out. So not all that, uh, you know, uh, all that great, but definitely on par to what we usually expect with uh, devices like uh, some of the dual core devices out there in the market. The other test that we already ran, it's just the N22 benchmark test. I'm going to show you the results here real quick. Let's go back. So if we zoom in closer, take a look at the uh, scores, um, all the graphical and CPU tests, the benchmark tests that it run, ran. A uh, total score that it gave um, is 5,071. And again, that's uh, pretty pretty much expected, nothing uh, eye-catching here. So if we look at the score chart and see how, how it ranks, um, our device 5,071, as you could tell, above a little bit above the uh, Motorola Zoom and of course the LG Optimus 2X, but again, it's like the Galaxy S2 is still tops uh, in this category. So that's pretty much it, guys. A benchmark test. And if you want to learn more about the HTC Jetstream, you can check out our website, phonearena.com.